Looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 coins? Look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and their coins are currently discounted a ton. Make sure to take advantage and use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over my scary fast for most of your predictions. Now, if you guys don't already know, it's four parts to this promo. We got Scary Strong. So far, we have Scary Strong, Scary Sharp, and we do have Scary Fast and Tall coming up pretty shortly as well. Now, again, I predicted that will probably be Wednesday and Friday for the remainder of the promos. Kind of just matches up on the typical timeline for what we can usually expect. Now, the thing is, though, with this, the format so far has been pretty steady, right? Now, to go on over and show you guys the format, we've pretty much been dealing with something very similar here. It's just two masters, two set pieces as the main thing, and the two masters, two set pieces. It's been pretty consistent in that aspect, but... We can only hope it stays that way. I'm going to base this prediction and everything off how EA has been doing it because we do know how EA is and they do love to do stuff like that and throw people off. So far, the formats are pretty pretty simple. It goes offensive master, defensive master, one offensive hero, one defensive hero, one from the past, one from the present in terms of the master. So pretty simple stuff. Now, I wasn't going to go over scary off tall, but I really care about scary fast a bit more. So that's something that I really want to do predictions on, at least for today. And then if it doesn't come out tomorrow, then I'll do my scary tall predictions as well. Now. I'm excited. Scary Fast is going to be the banger of this promo. Like, that's going to be the one that really just gives us some players that are good for a while. Sometimes a guy like Tyreek or whatever can really last a long time in terms of how good he is. But guys, before we get into the video and we go through everything, make sure to below, hit that subscribe button, turn on that noti bell, boys. Come join the fam if you want to be sure to be part of the Poodle Squad, turn on the noti bell, like the video, and comment down below Poodle Squad. Now for today's shout out, we do have Hurlbert. Shout out to you, man, for being a part of the Poodle Squad. Greatly appreciate you showing support on each and every video. Now, guys, if you need coins, you want to pick up some of the most feared stuff or get prepped for most feared, head over down below to Madden Reserve or Mutt Reserve and use code Poodle for 15% off. Take advantage of this kind of coins. Now, let's head into this. So, let's start with my heroes. So, for my two heroes, I'm going to go on over and show you guys them and show you what I think their stats could potentially be for this. Now, the two heroes are the 90 overalls in the sets, if you guys don't already know. Now, those cards could be really good, especially for, like, for scary fast. It doesn't matter what overall they are. Like, they're, they're, they're going to be fast, right? So that's kind of what we're looking at here. Now, hopefully, you know, they do them, they don't do them dirty in terms of stats as well. But I would be really excited to get even some of these cards, I'm gonna say. Now, the first one's going to be Patrick Peterson. Now, Patrick Peterson has a chance to get a 90 overall most feared card, and that card would be really, really good. Now, Patrick Peterson's six foot one, right? So he has got prime height for a cornerback, like in comparison when you're that athletic. So he has 84 speed now, 84 excel, 86 agility, 86 jumping, 78 play rec, 78 man. 77 zone and 76 press now when you when you power him up let's say and chem him up right if he's a 90 overall now he could be a master but let's stick with him being a hero for now um let's say he'll be a 90 overall powered up so a 90 overall that's almost a plus 10 he probably ends up with like a 90 91 speed 92 speed let's go with 92 speed right because that'll make them sounds a bit better right there so 92 speed probably ends up with like a 93 jumping and then I suspect that his man and zone and everything will probably be like high 80s. Uh, his press man, zone, play rank, everything will be high 80s. So at lockdown maxed out, he will get all thresholds and be super fast. And of course, he's 6'1". So he will be just a very well-rounded lockdown corner. He will have the man threshold, the zone threshold, the press threshold, the play rank threshold. And he'll be super fast. And he could even be faster than I'm predicting. Plus, he'll be like, kind of like Dion. He'll have him above 80 catching. He'll have an above 90 change of direction. He'll, have an above, he'll probably have close to 90 juke. Like, he's going to be really good with the ball in his hands. going to be like another kind of Dion, except he will be able to press as well. Patrick Peterson would be really, really insane if we were to get him. Now, that's one of the heroes. Now, for the other heroes, which I know he's either going to be hero or master because we know he's in the game. He's coming. They've already said it. It's going to be Henry Ruggs. Now, Henry Ruggs is going to have an insane card. Now, Henry Ruggs at a 75 overall is an 89 speed. So he's gonna get 90 overall more than likely, or even the hero, or the master. But for now, again, 90 overall. If he gets a 90 overall, guys, and potentially a power up, let's say, it'll be a plus 16 increase on his overall if he gets power up to 91. So a plus 16 overall increase. I have to imagine, right? He ends up with a 95 speed. That's the only other way. That's the only thing I can think about. He has to end up with a 95 speed for sure, right? 95 or 94 speed, or getting powered up will, will make the difference. And I think he ends up with low, like mid mid 80 route running with probably mid 80 catching now the thing is i think his deep route running will be close enough to get to the threshold more than likely so his deep route running is going to be his best route running stat and his spec catching his catching be his best catching stats now the difference is though is that i don't know if he'll get anything else so he's gonna be kind of like a straight line deep route runner guy but that's more than okay especially when you have speed like that that can just beat everyone henry rug is going to be a problem 
Now again, do I do do I know that they'll do anything else for it? Like if they they want to be nice, they'll give me some medium route running in there as well, but I doubt it. More than likely, we're just gonna be getting a deep route running threshold and just some crazy straight line speed. And you know, hopefully that change of direction goes up to like a 90, so we can at least get some stuff out of that and a good juke. Hopefully they increase some of that, so at least he's a good runner with the ball as well, because we don't want no, nothing's worse than one of those guys who are just straight line speed, but they they feel so clunky with the ball in their hand. So it's like, what's the point, right? Now for our scary fast present master, there's only one guy, and if he doesn't get a card most feared, I'll, I'll be upset because he is the guy that you fear. Like he he is scary fast. Like people like I'm scared to play against him in fantasy. I'm scared to play against him in real life if my team's playing against him. I'm scared whenever he touches a ball that he's going to score. Like, he's the definition of scary fast. Now, Tyree Kill, still 80,000 coins at this point in the game. Now, if you look at him right now, the thing with Tyree Kill, he has 90 speed already. So, if he gets a 92 overall plus powered up, that'd be a plus 6 increase. Again, just like Henry Ruggs, I have to imagine that he gets a 94 speed, right, on his new card, plus a power up. So, I'm thinking he ends up at a 94 to 95 speed. His debut running is already like a 92 at this point. His short might end up being like an 87, and his medium might be an 85, 86. So maybe it's the time to change the play fake. If Tyree Kill gets that great of route running, you change the play fake on your team, and you get his medium route running, if that's the one, and you get that up to a 90. Because if he can get medium route running threshold, deep route running threshold with 94, 95 speed, he's going to be ridiculous, and it's not even going to be fair playing with him. So I highly recommend you take advantage of that and you go ahead and do something like that and of course his change of direction is gonna be like a mid mid 90s high 90s his uh juke's gonna be above 90 like he's gonna be a very 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 great runner gonna be very fast like if we get this tyree kill it's gonna it's gonna be over like he's gonna be the new he's gonna be a meta like he was already meta but he's gonna make a new meta for himself it's gonna be ridiculous if we do get a new tyree kill and then next guys for our scary fast master of the past of course it can't do a comparison here because we do have to deal with the fact that He's not in the game yet, but I have a guy that's very similar. I know exactly how to compare them. So hold up. Let me go over here. It's going to be a cornerback. Now this guy, if we get him again, another just lockdown cornerback, and I'll be very excited about that. Um, let's go to it. It's down here. Deion Sanders. Now the guy I think we could be getting is Champ Bailey. Now if you guys know anything about Champ Bailey, him and Deion go neck, neck and neck here, right? Champ Bailey usually has like one less speed and 10 more press, right? That's how we always know it. But because Champ will be a 92 master, that means he'll be a 93 power up. That does mean he'll probably have the same speed with the plus 10 press. So I think Champ Bailey would have a 93 speed, 92 excel, 91 agility, 91 jumping, probably 92 play rec, probably 92 man, probably 92 zone, and then probably a 91 press. So pretty much, guys, as per usual, Champ Bailey's gonna be better than Dion right now. When if he does come out, but like he's coming out later, Champ Bailey will be Dion, but with plus 10 press. So he's gonna fit the mad press meta. He's super fast. And Champ Bailey, you guys know he's super fast. Like he's always like Deion Sanders S speed in Madden. Like not maybe not in real life, but in Madden they've always done it like that, where he's very similar to Dion, and you just want to play both of them. But he's gonna get the press as well. So we get a, if we get a Pat Pete and, and a Dion, and we have we already we already have Dion, and we get Champ. Like it'll be an insane cornerback drop. I don't know which one they'll get, but I feel like at least at least one of them. Hopefully we can get Champ Bailey. It'll be funny. He's not in the game yet. Champ Bailey's always in the game by now, always. So it's kind of weird to have not seen him yet. You know, like at least as a, a base legend card or something. But I am looking forward to seeing him. Hopefully that is the play now. If we do get him, guys, he fits the meta perfect. Like I said, the man press meta is real. People love doing that. And who better than a guy that's just as athletic as Dion with a man, uh, with a press threshold? He'll be insane. And then of course we have the scary tall, which I have some guys for that too. But again, I'm only gonna do this prediction today. If I do have uh tomorrow and if it hasn't come out yet and they actually push that back, I will be doing my uh, predictions for that as well. But that's about it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Thanks so much. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.